So we'll, we'll see. see. I mean, if he can, if he can bait out counter hits as well, it's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna pay off. Uh, I feel like Geese destroys Eddie. By the way, Geese. I feel like Geese is a very right. strong. Because well, he has, of his back Round three. One. I mean, we'll see. Let's see how this matchup turns out. I wonder if Kokomo would switch if he loses. But it's interesting to see that he's not using Dragon off, mm -hmm. which is another great character against Eddie. Hey, man, John Ding has been on point so well this yeah. tournament. Oh, he doesn't get the dash. Ducky. Nice. See, that's the thing. If he you know the match. that out, though, against any player. Yeah, because there is no mix up. Mm -hmm. That was hey. a very odd choice. Oh, oh huge and block. That's the thing. You block those lows. A lot of the lows that Paul has are punishable by the wall setting 1 3 or the wall setting 3. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, my that god. That was sick. And he's going to get the wall here, too. Mm -hmm. Into the follow up here. What kind of mix up are we going to see? Sidestep, too. Wow, this is looking ugly right now. We're definitely getting Brazilian barbecue later. <laughs> Oop. Nice. That is guaranteed. Relax 1 3. Round 3. Damn, it's raining already? Yeah, that was quick. They don't care about the leather quality at all. Oh, here we go. See, this is going to be really scary. So, Pokemon's gonna, still going to go for this. The lows. He has to, you know, chop away. Mm -hmm. But he's putting himself at a huge risk here. So, to be relaxed right there, he went with down one with Paul. Yeah, which one is a, a good option because it'll beat out anything he tries to go for. Yeah, that time standing three. So, he's got a couple of options that he's going with. Oh, oh boy. my gosh, can't believe he hit that. The follow-up mix up goes for the Not Why a good punish. That? Not a good punish. He gets caught at the raise drive. Nice. Good stands up. Tries to reset the situation here. Oh, into the back one plus two. That's gonna be it. Yo, John Ding, three rounds straight over Kakoma. And that did not go well for that Phoenix pick. Yeah, not at all. It's, I, it's not even just the Phoenix, though. He's playing so bad, I feel bad like. Bad punishes, bad decisions on the offense. Mm -hmm. like yeah. The wall standing 3-2 they threw out earlier. Uh, just yeah, like, why test somebody, right? Yeah, and even when he blocked Everybody the guards low, he did wall standing 3-2 instead even of wall standing 2. Even the commentator two. knows to duck it. <laughs> That's when you know it's a bad decision. Yeah, that was rough, man. You know, I feel like, honestly, I think Geese is a killer in this matchup. Well, and he had a Geese yesterday. He definitely did. He might go to Dragon Up, though. Also a good choice. He's got yeah. so many characters now. I mean, this is... And he's the type of player who likes to switch after a loss yeah. to different characters. So for him, this is a serious character crisis mode, right? Because he's going <laughs> to yeah. he's gonna have Kazumi. He's going to have Dragonov. He's got to knock this, a Geese. He has a lot of characters. I mean, yeah. he, he... Wow, look at John Dick getting hyped. Oh, hype. my God. Apologize for the ears at home. <laughs> hey, how about Eddie? Eddie, 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 Eddie? <laughs> I can't. He's just, you know it's in Kakoma's head because Kakoma's got the headphones on too. <laughs> that is a good pick. Pick the geese. Any relaxed transition. Any relaxed transition. You have a 14 frame move like Eddie, like Geese's knee. That'll get a full combo. Even in the float state, he'll get a full combo no matter what. So okay. that's why I think this, he just destroys Eddie's options. So if Eddie has no options, you have no fight. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how this is going to work out. The only way that he's going to be able to open it up as well is going to be with some lows. And a lot of those lows are, are kind of risky to pull out, you know, just throw out against Geese. He does have an amazing crush move with forward 1 plus 2. Not just that he has yeah. the ability to jump. And of course, just slow parry into mm -hmm. creating those situations for him. How does jump do against relax? Is that a good choice? Uh, he well, he obviously like the, the, the 2D style characters, the characters meter. They have a quicker jump, arc. right? So he's able to avoid the mix-ups. Right. Not really create an opportunity, but he's gotcha. able to avoid the mix-ups. But he doesn't. Easy, he just has to do back three. If he sees relax, he just does back three. Okay. Oh, there's a punish. Can't let him get away for free. There's a follow up here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how he's able to deal with it. Down two. Much better start this game for Kakoma, but still. Oh, Early. man, oh. counter hit. Interesting. I don't think he expected to hit it, so he's able to get some kind of damage. Look at that. That was a lot, actually. That was a ton of damage, yeah. Oh, no. Man. Didn't yeah, get the 14. Punch. Yeah, I think just out of range. And again, Junding committing with all these lows. This is what you have to do. It doesn't even matter what character you're just wow. losing to his offense. Pokemon looking to figure out what he's going to be doing. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh, he wasn't ready. Again, trying to go for that back three. 
Rapukin. Oh, yeah, and Rapukin, obviously, another difficult thing for Eddie to work around as well. Yeah, any fireballs in the game, you know, he doesn't have the ability to sidestep. There it is. Man. Here Relax, here comes my back three, combo conversion. What oh, is the damage? damage? You gotta do instant air back fireball. 50 50, big block from Johnning and the full punish. Yeah, he went for a huge risk there. Oh, did it crouch cancel? Or uh, link the move together. The 1 plus 2, get over there. And again, flirting with him. it. He got it this time. Should be able to close it out. KO. Finally, Kakoma. Getting around on the board. Yeah, he's playing way too tight, I think, though. Mm -hmm. He's not playing with that confidence. I feel like he needs to rush him down with those down forward ones as well. And again, you know, that down forward one four, not any punish out of it. Yeah, I mean, he, he can get some damage, but, you know, Eddie's range is so bad at that, that distance. It's really hard for him to get something consistently. Does he get, like, down forward four or something? Uh, no, he gets uh, standing forward, the mid attack. Okay. Yeah. Down forward four is his low. Oh, I got you, I got you. Oh, able to sidestep. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, you gotta be careful though. Man, look at John Ding's movement right now. Oh, Damn! Big Run up counter down. hit. Look at this. Look at this damage. Ouch. Guaranteed follow-up. Yep. Punish! Oh, he had it. It's looking real good for John Ding right now. If he takes this, he'll be one round away. Dog. He didn't even need that. The speed of his movement right now is ridiculous. John Ding, one round away, as you mentioned, loser bracket, advancing and eliminating Kakoma. Oh, Damn. nice. Able to evade the follow-ups here. Usually, what a Geese player will do, they'll do a standing four or a jab, a low jab afterwards. Bomb. Not as exciting when he's back dashing all day, right? Yeah. Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he chopped him right out of the transition. Good punish there from Jun Ding. Out of here, low parry. Kakoma trying to stay alive now. Tournament life on the line, of course. Running one. Goes to the shoulder again. Oh, he's ready that time. Mm -hmm. Follow-up. I feel like that was the riskiest thing John Ding has thrown out in a while. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, be careful. Kakoma not biting. All right, he's going for a conversion here. Oh, he wants to kill. And he's going to get it. There we go. No meter now going to final round here. Still set point for John Ding. I don't know if that was the right move here. Oh, what? my God. Really? A back one plus two? <laughs> what the that hell? Was tight. Do it again. <laughs> that was sick. Uh-oh, counter hit the follow-up here. Oh, huge Boot. lead now for Judd Ding. Oh, God. And no meter for Kakoma oh, either. Oh, no. That's not what he should have done. Okay. We got a punish, but he's in rage, so he's dealing extra damage with each successive hit here. And he's building up to that one bar. Might be important by him, but there it is. He's got a bar to work with now. Oh, my gosh. He's so scary. Black a sliver of life left, and that's it. Judd Ding takes it. Eliminates Kokoma oh, here from our top eight. Impressive showing. John Ding playing very sharp today. Yeah, and Kokoma tying for seventh place here at Battle Arena Melbourne. Yeah, you know, we were talking about Dimeback having a breakout performance. John Ding was also having a breakout performance yesterday.